Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Prodox Gaming. Today we're going to be covering a 2.3 fire damage flare slash SMK um, hound build. And uh, for this build you need two items at least. And that is a flare, which I'm wielding here, an ancient one, and a star metal kukri. Now both of these weapons are really were like rare, but uh, you can get them pretty easily with the cube. With the... Um, I think it's, yeah, the upgrade rare option, and uh, I have the Kukri in the cube right here. And since we're in the cube, you might we might as well uh, go and uh, show the other guy things. We're using Tomon's finger because we want the dog to be as big and hit as much as possible. Uh, and therefore, we're also using the Mask of Jaram for a maximum rolled pet damage increase for Fetish Army and Zombie Dogs. And... Um, we have the Humunculus here, which is ancient, with you want to have intelligence, damage, critical hit chance, and zombie dogs damage increased. On your boots, you want Zunima's trail, uh, with anything you really like, like intelligence, vitality, whatever. On uh, your legs, you want um, Zunima's as well, with increased Plague of Toads damage. damage. On your uh, glove slot, you want Mage Fist with fire damage, which I think is it always. Uh, and you want critical hit damage and critical hit chance. On your shoulders, shoulders you want life, uh, intelligence, fatality, whatever, but you want zombie dogs damage. On your helm, or like foodie mask, you want critical hit chance and uh, you want the Grim Reaper. Why? Because when you like spam your primary skill, these three clones uh, of you they they spawn and they use Piranha Nado and they use Plague of Toads, which is our main damage. And why is it randomly lagging? All right. <coughs> uh, for your amulet, you want fire damage, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance. This isn't a perfectly rolled one, but it's pretty good. Uh, for your body, you want Cinder Coat. But you can also take um, all guilds with zombie dog damage, but this one is a little bit better because of the fire damage increase. Um, it's not the best roll, I think you can get 15%, but this has 13%, so it should be fine. Uh, for the belt, you want the witching arrow because of the extra critical hit damage and the uh, attack speed and intelligence stuff. So you only belt with it, I think. So yeah. Um, for your wrist, you want the Custerian Wrist Guards, which give fire damage, and you want critical hit chance as by 6% on it, or like as high as you can get it. On the rings, we have uh, an Agile Ring, because it has a nice roll, as you can see. I re-roll the socket into it for Simplicity Strength, which is very nice for Plague of Toads, because you get a massive damage boost, and it heals you, so it's uh, very good. Um, for our second ring, we want Wrath of Lightning, and this is AoE damage, and it's basically three, and it constantly, when you're spamming toads, activates from itself. So it's a really, really, really good one uh, to have on your. Uh, like, wow, the slag is so random. Anyway, uh, let's get right on, uh, like further with it. Uh, that's pretty much it. In your Paragon, you want. Let's just go to the core, uh, intelligence and movement speed. I have 15% because my boot, my, like my boots, give my me 10%, um, and uh, the that's maximum you can have 25. Um, for this one, you want attack speed for the plague of toads, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. I just chose a little bit of half, just to like mix it up and stuff. Uh, for this, it doesn't really you know matter armor, re life regeneration, resist, or whatever you want. Life, um, utility, you want resource cost reduction. I don't know, life on hit, whatever you want really doesn't really matter because it's useless for the build anyway um so in the cube we have like i said before we have oh, the slag some of the kukri voodoo amaling the mask of dram and the tall man's finger uh now you could switch it up with ship 12 switch it up with unity if you wanted to to get um i mean ring royal grandeur if you're using something else or unity if you're doing solo play with uh, Templar, which in my case is a shitty one. It's really, really bad. But it gives me free healing anyway, so I don't really care. Um, so that's basically uh, what you want. And you want a green gem in your weapon, a purple one in your socket, uh, I mean, in your helm socket, voodoo mask socket, whatever. And intelligence gems in your slots on your armor. 
Um, so that was basically it. Uh, you could also get a Hellfire Amulet with um, this and uh, Fire Damage as well if you wanted to for an extra passive, but uh, I don't have one right now. So, um, <coughs> skills P Play of Toads, Explosive Toads, Piranhas, Piranado, Spirit Walk, Jaunt, Summon Zombie Dogs, Burning Dogs. This is like uh, the heart of the build in damage, basically. Big Back Voodoo Slam Dance because we're using Kukri, a Kukri and uh, Fetish Army Legion of Daggers. daggers. Uh, and as passive, we want Fetish Psychophants. So if the Fetishes die, uh, you can still get the cooldown reduction of Big Back Voodoo uh, done because of the uh, Fetishes that spawn extra. Uh, Fetish Army League of the Daggers, yeah. I mean, Fierce Survival, uh, increased damage, but mana costs go up. But it doesn't matter because we don't use mana really, except for Aranado. Uh, zombie Handler for more zombie dog damage, basically. Same goes with Midnight Feast. And for the Zuni thing, you want it for the two set, yeah. Like I said, Fetish Army uh, lasts until they die. So that's really handy, really. Uh, and now we are going to test a few things. I'll first start with, uh, let's say, we could do Rift, but uh, I don't know, really. Let's just go to the Herald Rift really quickly. And uh, I know this isn't the best build. Diablo, uh, because of the health of his being OP and stuff, but, um, whoa, you just got slapped by the dog, really. So, what you want to do when you see monsters, just, well, she, these ones got wrecked. Just smash down your stuff, doesn't matter, because you're getting the cooldown from Ray Back Voodoo back in no time anyway, uh, so you're just going to be doing this. You spam the toes, like, smack, break, rip, rip them up, and the Grim Reaper, as you can see, is boosting the, uh, the, um, the damage right here. Stupid recorder lag, I swear, it's so terrible. Um, we're not that tanky with this build, but that doesn't matter really. Um, it, it hits so much. Well, I just got wrecked. Wow, on video. Anyway, it, like, it hits so good. Uh, it's it's just amazing for T6, split farming and stuff. Um, it's just not as good for T10 and stuff because it's not power that powerful and the crits aren't too high. But uh, it is a really fun build if you like pet builds, really. Um, so as you can see, here's the bounty thing. Uh, this is T6. Alright. Um, yay, I guess. Anyways, let's just keep doing that. Fucking recording lag killing me all day. I don't even know how you could hit me, like, right there. Okay, this is T6, yeah. Let's just spawn the fetishes in, and he just got slapped. Right, um, we could do Rift and just uh, do that, but it's probably going to take too long for that, really. Um... Let's just see, Adria, let's just do the boss and uh, see how well it goes. Because that's like a boss, an easy one, I guess. Um, kill Adria, let's see. Oh, wait, we have to. Well, I'll just show you until we get there, really. As you can see, the toads just go in for. What the. F okay, you know the lag is. Just ignore it. I don't even know why it's like dropping to 5 FPS. I have a gaming PC and it should be. Oh, let's see, an elite pack. I like my Templar just healed me, let's drop down the big guy voodoo, spam the toads, and just reap them up. This this could be easily used on T8, by the way. Um, right, let's go wanted door. Here we go again. Wow. Um, as you can see, the dog, the dog just, oh, god damn. Fucking smacks them to pieces, mate. Right. Actually, let's just see what the dog hits. Uh, as you can see, the um, the the breath of lightning is working well. Look at the dog go, man. He is ill. We have damage as well, so let's just let's see what the dog hits. You see that like 100 mil crits? Oh, so good, so good. Just run through this really quickly. Just smash these up. Take please, the toad spam them. Death. As you can see, this is a piece of the cake. It's a really piece, like a big piece of cake. It's like like the whole cake in, in one thing. I mean, fuck, this is so easy. Like, ah, oh, I swear it's all right. I just got slapped for once again. But that's because of this build being based on damage and not on toughness. As you can see, it's fucking eight million. That's fucking terrible. Let's be honest. For Witch Doctor, that's terrible. You could switch up the passives a bit for more tankiness, but um, I yeah, uh, I just like I like DPS really. Um, so I'll just go with that. I just run towards Adria. Lag, 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 lag. Thank you very much. Lame game. Ignore this. What even is this? Ah, uh, stupid events. 
Get out of my way. Lol. Come on. I just want to kill Adria, not the bunch of bastards. Right. Almost there, I think. Come on. What the hell is this? Blocky Marco. Oh, leap pack. Let's see what you can, we can do to these guys. Just. Oh, jailers, really? And knock. I mean, suck in things. Oh, they just got slapped. Where did they go? Lol. Um. <laughs> oh, I swear, this is. Uh, oh, what the fuck? This is fun. Oh, this is really fun. Apart from the random lag, once again. Oh, look, I'm gonna probably get killed now. Because I can't see shit. Uh, I, th I think the toads are like critting for, um, let's say around 10 to 40 million. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Um, all right, there we go. Age of time. This is uh, how it works on a boss. All right, let's see. This is T6, yeah. Okay, I just <laughs> I don't even know. I just keep getting one slap. It's so annoying. Oh, uh, this doesn't happen to me when rifts because I'm like more um ah oh, now I don't have big bad voodoo anyways without big bad voodoo let's just get this going a few one slaps me again I'm just gonna oh my god <laughs> he's just so lame like on video again because I'm like not paying attention as much okay like big bad voodoo goes down this is 5 billion health by the way 5.7 billion is within a pretty good build for a pet build and just got slapped that was easy, wasn't it? Right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more Diablo guides which are coming, ooh, legendary helm. Ooh. Um hit the like button. Lurex crown. Wow. Lick the uh, like click the <laughs> lick the like button. What the fuck? Click the like button, click the subscribe button and uh comment what you think, what I should improve on. Maybe probably my umming and stuff, uh, so but whatever, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, bye-bye.